Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Susie. If you're new here to Dragonfly Bees, thanks for tuning in. This, as you can see, is a thread up box. This is box number two, a DIY five pound um, rescue box uh, from Sewanee, Georgia. So I'm hoping if you saw part, the first box, um, I was missing some earrings. I hope, I hope it's in here. These two boxes were delivered um, at the same time. So I'm hoping that I find them in here. Now with Thread Up boxes, Thread Up is an online consignment shop. And I do shop on there for clothes. And uh, I also send them, send in my clothes to, uh, for them to, to sell on my behalf uh, on consignment, I guess. So, oh gosh, this one is really secure, which is a good thing. I did get a Goodwill box, and unfortunately, I saw part of the box was uh, pried open. Oh gosh, okay, give me a moment. <laughs> so as I was saying, with thread up boxes, um, rescue boxes, there's no rhyme or reason. You need to monitor that site like a hawk in order to see whether or not uh, rescue boxes are available because they are not, they are not readily available. And this is like sealed up like Fort Knox. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here is the box. Um, like I said, they cost uh, 40, $48. And to ship here to New York, it was $10.99 for shipping, $5.24 uh, for tax. So this box cost me $64.23. Um, let's cut through that because I always save all the packing materials to reuse. Here is the bag. Take that box away. Let's take a look at it. Hmm. Hard to say. Oh, oh, the box. Oh, the bag is broken open because the earring is trying to escape. So here's the other side. Oh, there is a watch. All right. Uh, let me grab my tray and um, I will open it, spill it onto the tray, and then we'll go over what they sent. Well, here you see, oh, this earring was in my first box. Oh, there's hope. There is hope. Okay, let me sort through this and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, this bin is filled with earrings and rings. This one is necklaces. This one here is bracelets and uh, a few watches. And then lastly is this bin that has uh, craft items. So now that it's sorted, I can now <laughs> go over everything with you. Okay, let's start off with these necklaces. Uh, first one here, hmm, triple strands. I see a curb chain. This is heavy. Uh, I see glass beads and this very slinky, snaky strand. But that snaky strand is filled with all these marks. Um, hmm. Okay, so you know what? Due to the wear, you see all those marks on this um, snake chain? This will be uh, in craft. So, yeah, I will place this in that craft lot that I started with the uh, first box that I got from thread up 
Next up, we have this one. This is a triple strand necklace. It's quite long. It is uh, tiered. And it's made up of these, um, let's see, seed beads, metal beads, or, me or should I say metallic. And then you have this uh, ball bead chain. This is like an antique brass tone. It has a lobster claw at the end, a very long extender with a bead on the end. So let's um, let's measure this one. This one here has a drop of 15, mm -mm, no, maybe more than that. Uh, almost 16 inches to the shortest strand, and then it goes up to 17 and a half inches up to the longest. So let me show you it close up. We have this one. This next group um, consists of uh, these long necklaces and they have glass beads. This one here has um, hmm, stone beads as well. Okay, so this one has a nice, that's like a very muted peach color. You have these metal beads. You have silver tone bead spacers. You have these. Wow, these are fun. They're textured. I love that little pop of green in there. And it continues on. Oh, and there's even a little uh, little charms hanging off the bottom of this one. It's a leaf with some of the um, matching beads dangling off of it. Uh, this one has a 17-inch drop, but... It's actually on an elastic cord. So we have this. Okay, now on to bracelets. Um, you're probably wondering, didn't she have red nail polish on? I filmed these uh, pre-recorded videos in spurts, I guess, and and um, and then I piece it all together. So yeah, I had to. Um, put the box down for a bit and uh, now I'm back. So let's continue on with bracelets and um, let's start with this one. These look like Italian coins. It is very uh, hefty in weight. There is weight to this. Um, it's silver tone with the uh, gold tone coins. There is a hinge. And you can see the back of these coins. So they look like authentic um, Italian lira. So that hinge goes back, which makes it easier for you to wear. And on the, on the hinge, it actually says bronze. Mylor, Italy. Now this bracelet, this well open cuff, um, was sold on QVC. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, let's measure this. I'm gonna say that this is about. Let's see if I measure it up to there. Seven inches. So we have this beautiful, and it's in really nice condition. Open cuff bracelet with the Italian Lira coins made by Bronze Mylor Italy. Pretty neat. Next up we have this one. This is a beautiful bangle. It is brass. It has all these different stone inlays. This looks pretty large. Yeah, it goes down to eight and a quarter inches in circumference. So we have this one. Look at those colors. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. And I have a problem wearing bangles. They have to be this size in order for me to get it over my uh, this portion of my hand. 
So we have this one. Next up, we have this memory wire bracelet with all these. You know, they can very well be turquoise chips. And there are faceted glass beads. You have this uh, textured curved bar. This is nice. I like turquoise. So when I place this here, I mean, it is um, a memory wire, so it will adjust to your wrist. But, you know, placing it here, it goes down to there, which is, I guess, about um, six and three quarters, six and a half. So we have this really sweet memory wire bracelet. Yeah, very nice. Next up is this one. This is beautiful. This is glass. It's a stretch bracelet, and I'll be honest, this stretch isn't the best. So I would suggest that it be restrung or you just carefully put it on. Um, this one here falls down to seven inches. Now let's make sure. Yeah. Very nice. And there you see on the back, it is strung on two elastic cords. So we have this one. Next, we have this. This is beautiful. It is a silver tone rope. I guess this is um, more like a memory wire too, like a bypass bracelet. These actually are gritty. It's silver tone. This one here is very nice. So this would adjust to your wrist as well. I'm going to say that this is a seven. So we have this one unbranded. Really nice. And yes, I do like pearls. And let's look at the pearls closer. Yeah, you see that? Little scratches over there. Um, yeah, some over here too, because it's rubbing against that, um, the metal right there. So that's where those scratches are, where it rubs against the uh, bracelet. So we have this one. Next is this one. Wow. This is interesting. Look at that. You have this open work bead. They kind of look like little lanterns. Uh, there is a jewelry tag on this. Uh, it says 925. There is a, a lobster claw. Um, let's get the magnet. It does pull on the on the chain. Um, okay, I guess this is something that I will test at the end. So let me um, attach this and measure it in the meantime. Let's see. Here, look at something. <laughs> okay, that lobster claw is pretty tight. And um, I can't really do much with, with these nails on. Okay, give me a moment. I wonder when the last time that class was open, it was pretty tight. Now, this falls down to six and a half. We will uh, test this for precious metal. Uh, there is a tiny little, I mean, there's only two little loops that you can go. And I, hmm, okay, so this is quite small. Overall, I think it's quite pretty. The next bracelet is gold tone there's multiple links in this in this chain it has a spring ring class there is a safety chain as well this is what's hanging off of it it says um oxford this is beautiful. Uh, there's a little clear stone right there. 
I'm gonna grab the Presidium and uh, and test that. There's a little diamond in there. Where is it? Yeah, not that little. So that's uh, that's very nice. Now let's grab the magnet. There's no marks on here. It's not attracting the magnet, so this is something that needs to be tested for gold. Let's place it on here. Oxford. It's beautiful, beautiful bracelet. It is a seven inch bracelet, exactly. So we have this one with the uh, Oxford charm. Looking at this close up, I noticed this. There is a hallmark and it says 120th, 12K gold filled. And here's a close up of it. So here on the other side, let's see what we have. Oh, what a sweet bracelet. This one has um, those, those little faux pearls are like a purple color. There's a spring ring. It says something there. Um, let's see what it says. Uh, maybe on the other side? No. Oh, it says Avon. Okay, this is Avon. What a sweet bracelet. This one has the same tag. Yeah, that one says Avon too. So we have these two Avon bracelets. Let me, um, let me connect them and measure them. They each have, um, a spring ring class. They're both gold tone. They both look quite small, um, but we will find out. So these are, uh, they don't have any extender. They each have a spring ring. They look really tiny. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're talking six inches. That's only six inches. So here's the first one. Wow. Maybe they're for, for a child. And this one here looks just as small. Um, oh my goodness, it's even smaller. This one, five and three quarters. And it has this type of a design. So we have these two Avon bracelets, very small, gold tone. The first one here has this uh, open design uh, station with the, I guess, lavender faux pearls. And this one has these um, ovals with the two holes in them. Avon. Okay, this one, oh, over, overstretched. Has two horns. You have these nuggets and these very large stones. And these copper colored rings so this definitely needs to be restrung this will be sold for components and hopefully you can repair it nice beads though yeah very nice stones so we have that here's another one that needs major restringing these are heavy this is a hematite Hematite um, stretch bracelet, so we have that. 
needs restringing. What else do we have? We have this stone bead. That's a stone uh, with some silver tone spacers uh, only here. But this also needs a restring because the, the stretch, not so good unless you put it on quite carefully. And there you go. So I don't want to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to break it and it'll be splattered everywhere. Um, you have these uh, bangles. Always check for um, mag magnetism. <laughs> Here's an open cuff. Wow, purposely distressed. It's metal. Yeah. Hmm. Here's another bracelet that looks like a almost like fish scales silver tone let's measure this one uh falls down to seven and a quarter so we have that here is one of these um cord bracelets with the pull this looks like a piece of uh wood Oh, I don't know what that says. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this will be a craft item. Here's another craft item. I think it's, okay, it's just a, a yeah, it's freight. So that's craft. And here is one of those wrap bracelets has um metal beads and these um oh my goodness is that labradorite i doubt it but this will be craft too because this leather cord looks a bit um worn there's the button closure it's by uh aeo aeo um, yeah, so we have that. All right, moving on to the rest of this thread up box. Before we get into those earrings, I just realized I, I, um, I forgot to show you these necklaces, which is where I left off, uh, last time. Uh, so I pushed all the earrings, I pushed all the earrings, uh, away and, um, brought the necklaces back. Now, I remember I said that these were glass. Looking at these, um, I realized that these beautiful blue ones are not glass, but these are. So let's look at this necklace, and it is silver tone, very nice chain. It falls down to, let's see, three layers. Yeah, three layers of these beautiful is that like a cobalt blue um, faceted beads? Now, if you look closely, they do have seams. So, and they're not cold. So they fooled me when I looked at them from afar. So let's measure this one here. Uh, move that out of the way for a moment and see what the length is up to the uh, shortest strand. It looks to be in nice condition. The length to the shortest strand is almost 11 and a half. And um, it goes as, let's see, it goes down to as long as 16 and a half in drop. So there's the lobster claw. It has a little bead at the end of the extender. This is a really, I keep getting these little dots from the earring cards. <laughs> So we have this one, which I believe is really nice. Even though it's acrylic, I think it's very, very nice. I like the blue with the silver tone. The next one, similar fashion, it has a lobster claw, but this one has four, four strands. This is also layered, tiered, 
Let's look at the different uh, types of chains. So you do have this nice simple chain, but then they incorporate this type of chain throughout. And then you have these beautiful, look at that. Those are faceted. They have like an iridescent look to them. Uh, light blue beads. And then you also have the gray ones. So let's place this down and measure it. I don't see a jewelry tag. So this is unbranded, but still so nice. I do like uh, necklaces with blue in them. And this one here up to, where's that short strand? About 13 inches um, up to here. And it can go as long as Oh, almost 18 inches. So this is quite long. So let's bring this up and show you this one. Okay, now we can move on to the earrings. Okay, so next up we'll go over these. I found three watches in this box. Yeah. Um, if you saw my recent video of the Savers jar, I did have a slew of watches in there. I had gone to the watchmaker to have batteries put into them. So I bought these two along with me. So they are working and they do have new batteries in them. This one I did not bring though. This one here, I'm not even sure as to how the pronunciation of that brand is, but there is the brand and it is a Swiss quartz watch it says diamond so that must be a little diamond up there this is um genuine leather band there's the back of it there's the emblem it looks to be in nice condition the band is like a um uh, like a there's a sheen to it you know so it looks to be in good condition. Uh, yeah, it says 14. I wonder what that means. So when I looked this up, um, I saw that it was called the Casatora, maybe? Uh, and this one here, I would say, measures in at, you can have it, set to six and a quarter all the way up to eight inches so we have this watch which is not running uh did not place a new battery in here so this would be uh purchased as is i think that's a little spot over there uh but nonetheless i think it's a a, a very classic nice watch now the next one the next one is a this was in the box so there was an extra link look at the original price $225 this is a Kate Spade New York watch here it is it is in awesome condition I don't see any scratches on the face it is working gold tone band on the back there is some wear wow live colorfully live colorfully it is water resistant this is called the uh, Kate Spade Gramercy gold and there you see it's a stainless steel let's see how do you fold this up hmm I don't even know <laughs> oh there's the Kate Spade logo right there kate spade new york with the spade now give me a second let me um let me fold this up okay this is unusual there's a bar in the middle and what you do is you place this side over it and the other side over it and then you press down oh, very very unusual now when i place this on here the person who I guess owned it had a very small wrist because it's only six inches 
but you do have this extra uh, at least an inch so it could go up to seven so we have this beautiful kate spade watch with the um extra link working in very good condition uh gramercy gold the next watch is really substantial in weight this is a michael kors has the mother of pearl face this is called the ritz um i've seen it uh sold at neiman marcus and amazon in fact this has a 50 meter um water resistant there's a crystal hour markers all around uh quartz movement analog display silver tone band I don't know what these are. I know it's probably for those dials on the face. Oh, there's a calendar right there, the date. Here's the back of it, Michael Kors. It's the model MK5020, all stainless steel something. Let me get the um, magnifier so you can see. Uh, let me hold it like so. Stainless steel. There's four ones, zero four, ten ATM. Does that mean anything to anyone? Um, let's, uh, let's, okay. So this is attached. You just pop that little let's see how it goes yeah it's secure um i notice there are scratches on the back side where the name is right there this is a heavy one this one here measures in at i would say about it goes down to six and a half Really nice watch though by Michael Kors and it has a new battery which I put in okay next up we have these J crew necklaces the first one is like an antique bronze tone but looking at this closer this one has let's see one two five strands of glass pearls and looking through it you see, someone must have hung this up. Do not hang up your necklaces. They will stretch. So this must have been repaired because look at these gaps. It's on thread, hand knotted. Here's another gap. There's too many gaps here, but you, you can repurpose these beautiful glass pearls here you see as I go through the necklace you can see the sheen I like the fact there's uh, different sizes here's another it's just um, and here's the uh, the clasp it has the uh, jewelry tag J crew so, oh, great pearls, glass pearls to repurpose with. So this will be sold. Um, I mean, you could wear it, but I know that these gaps of thread would 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 irk me <laughs> personally. Um, so this will be sold for components. So we have this by J. Crew. This next necklace, I um, mistakenly said it was a j crew because i just saw that tag but when i looked at that tag closer it actually says bobble bar it's been a while since i came across a bobble bar necklace um this here has a really nice double ball bead chain on top it has the lobster claw it is a antique um brass tone color and then you do have these beautiful 
neon yellow and white beads. And then there are clear rhinestones all throughout. And then you have this on the bottom. This actually looks like a bee. It's really nice. Let's look at the construction on the back side. There it is. Some Most of the beads are open back. Here you see on the top, the double chain construction. Uh, this is um this is pretty nice. So let's um line it up, line it up, and measure the drop, and see how long it is. So this one here, I'm gonna say, has about an eight inch drop, and then you do have that extender above. And let me show you the jewelry tag, and. It says right there bobble bar. So we have this statement necklace piece. Okay, everyone, I'm going to wrap up part one at this point, but just so you can see what's coming up in part two. This box was filled with earrings more than anything else. Uh, and this corner here are rings. I took each of the earrings, pairs, placed them on cards so it would be easier for me and for you to see them. So, um, yes, this wraps part one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you thought of the thread up box so far. I'm pretty pleased, especially with those watches. And uh, part two is going to be mostly earrings, a few more necklaces, a bunch of rings, and the craft items. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe. And ring the bell. Choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I post part two and any other content that I can think of. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in. And if there's anything you'd like to purchase, all you need to do is email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are at the end of the video and I also include them below uh, beneath this video in the uh, description box. If anything sells, I'll create a salt list and that will be pinned in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.